I'm really gonna, it really comes down to, we know that Steelix's combo game is super consistent, but I think the real issue is whether he's going to uh, be able to actually take stocks in the same way. Hi everybody, it's Potato. Oh, he can't hear me? Yeah. Hi All right. everybody. So we have Lucario versus Falco here. This is interesting. User seems to have a good run tonight. He uh, he got that win on the last round over. These two didn't Palatina play on Playa. Tuesday, did they? I don't recall seeing them play, but you know. No, you see they've got knocked into losers by someone else. Either. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Steelix. Steelix doesn't win his the whole time, so I, they probably didn't play. Did you beat username? Was that what happened? Did me? Yeah. No, I didn't play him last week. I actually, I have I have trouble playing him. <laughs> So, the important thing here is going to be like sealing out the stocks early for Falco, right? Because yeah, Lucario will just run away with an advantage if he's... <gasps> Oof. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, no, he pineappled it. That's a shame. I think he might have been able to get back. He Band probably PS2. had the distance. Yeah. <laughs> you have a riot on your hands. <laughs> Listen, ban PS2, make Mushroom Kingdom you legal. <laughs> this is... I am dead serious. That is a hill I will die on. Uh, but in the meantime, if you're Steelix... You're very thankful. Yeah, I feel like the match becomes so much easier once Steelix takes the first stock here. Uh, that being said, a really yeah. good job to username because especially when you're low percent Lucario, it can be so hard to like take a stock and you know keep the gap from getting too big. But right there, he knows that the side B is the kill option. Yeah. He manages to find it. He's really good at executing the side Bs. Um, he knows how to use the aura sphere cancel in the side B well. He knows he knows how to space it properly so that you get the grab. Box instead of the, instead of just the uh, the hitbox from it. By the way, really smart there. Uh, ledge attack in this game does have no vulnerability on it before the hitbox comes out. It's all intangible, which means that when an opponent is charging a smash attack like that, it's perfectly safe yeah. to just hit the A button when you're on the ledge. Yeah, it's 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 always the mix-up because it's usually a bad option, but if they hand it to you, you take it. Wow. What? Oh, we let go of the <laughs> user, ledge. User, I, I think he might have just run out of legend tangibility. No way. He was he not go? off stage long enough to uh. run out of invincibility right there. I think he actually was trying to, like, turn it around, you know? Gotcha. Like, drop from ledge and hit him. Yeah. But wasn't expecting the option to come out so quickly. Steelix is a master of those, like, drop down, jump dares, kills. He's, he's really consistent oh, in executing yeah. them and, and getting the kills off them. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the damage. Yeah, I mean, username <laughs> likes to charge Aura Sphere when he's sort of dirtling I mean, around in neutral. <laughs> well, so if you use username, you're just like, okay, I'll take Aura. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, oh yeah, Aura is fine. I guess I feel like you would rather still not take the damage and hope that you, you know, that you'll get damage eventually. So you might as well uh, draw out that time as long as you can. And so username has told me basically like the ores here can feel difficult to to deal with when, when he's just sort of bouncing around, being you know, be reversing, landing on you with the ores here, but uh, username tells me that like most hitboxes will beat it out. So the way to contest it if someone's landing on you with the ores here charging is to just have an attack ready. Don't sit in shield, yeah, don't, I think don't it, spot dodge. For or anything Falco, like that. I think probably if you just jump neutral it would be the cleanest answer. Yeah, or up tilt or any anything like that. Oh, that's right, up tilt. Well, I think that I think that usually do a really good job of avoiding the up tilt spacing. Uh, wow! Oh wow! And that was the game. Steelix throws up his hands. He's just like, oh. Yeah, my God. I think maybe he expected it to, to hit the ledge instead of hitting on the stage. Why well, did he lasered? I think he just instinctively was like, I'm gonna uh, throw out a laser to check his, you know, high recovery, forgetting that you know when he's all the way out there, you can just throw the the, the aura sphere, and it ended up connecting it at one username the game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that aura sphere can be like is such a strong tool for Lucario. It's 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 his neutral. It can be in his it can be a really strong tool in his advantage state and disadvantage. But the B reverses helps him sometimes with right. his landing. Yeah, it just overall the thing is that obviously it's just another charge projectile. But because Lucario has some of the best, he honestly has some of the best movements in the game. His initial dash is probably the best. Yeah. Not that, like when you look at the numbers, it's like oh no, it's ZSS. But I think it's like just the length and the way he moves. It's just it, it feels clean than every other character. Did you try to footstool him? I think he might have tried to footstool him, but I think it looked like maybe he got the phantom footstool yeah, because he was, he was using upbeat. Yeah. yeah. That's spicy. I love people who go for who go for intentional footstools because 
God knows I never I don't, do. I'm so. a Yoshi <laughs> player, please. <laughs> I mean, I don't like dying to it, but I think it's really, I think it's a really cool way to take a stock. Because it's, it's unexpected, right? You, you, it doesn't happen very often, so when it does happen, it just seems really cool. And there's something like, honestly, Lucario probably could do pretty well. Because he normally doesn't have a spike. So, if you're... I have, don't really see Lucario is going for it. Wow. Ooh. Steelix is so good at catching those neutral get-ups. I wonder how long the uh, down smash lingers. Last, on Tuesday, he caught me with a with a down smash on a neutral get-up. Uh, I don't think down smash is particularly long-lasting. I think he just knows the timing yeah. for it very well. That's such a hard... It's such a hard thing to master. Yeah, like, I think... I forget if it's, like, two frames or one frame of vulnerability in this game. I think it's one frame of vulnerability. And then every character's get-up animation is... Slightly different too, so it's really hard to get a good sense of. He's of, dead. Uh, oh wow, that's the second time he got. I've seen him tonight get one of those forward air kills. At I'm a low pretty percent sure that stage. was like the fourth time I've seen him do that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> forward oh, air was that was interesting. I'm not sure what happened. Was I nice think he team. was hoping to reach the ledge with that forward air, but he just huh. kind of missed. Uh, but then, forward yeah. air is one of those moves with. You gotta be kidding me! Is he dead? <gasps> Is that the bait? No. Oh, okay. He wasn't actually able to finish yeah. off the stock. I don't that would have been so big for him. Yeah, I don't think Lucario has great options for when he's hanging on ledge to, like, drop down and contest someone footstool. at a low percent. Yeah, I guess you can footstool. But if he's in up animation, you can't footstool him. Yeah. You have to get him at the end, but he's going to snap to ledge before you can get yeah, a footstool Yeah, yeah. I guess just back air. Yeah, and then back air is not particularly, you know, that's just going to hit him off to the percent. side. And get, oh, oh, wow. Man. It's amazing how well he can get those. He's got the two-frame timing. He's got the neutral get-up timing. It's like, how can you contest that? Yeah, it seems like right now the matches are being decided on the ledge right there. At least when yeah. it's in Steelix's favor. These are just this has been a ledge heavy match just it's sort of in general. And actually, you know the funny thing, in that game one, I remember, he lost because he shot a laser on ledge. He tried to play it safe. Yeah. And now he's just like, fine, I'm not going to play it safe. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to meet you. Yep. I can't just sh shoot lasers from ledge, so I might as well be doing something with my time here. And, like, Lucario's, Lucario's up B has no hitbox until, like, the very end. And if it snaps to ledge, then it never has a hitbox. So it's really safe to contest it off stage if you're if you're sitting on the stage as Steelix. Um, and if you have a spike, it's all reward. Heavy reward, no risk. So I think that's that's the play. Keep in mind. There is risk that if you mess it up, you are now forced to recover low as Falco. True, but I don't think Lucario can punish that. Lucario doesn't have a spike. If you're at low percent, Lucario can knock you back, but eventually you get back to ledge. But, you know, there's no risk of a really strong reverse edge guard unless Lucario has really high aura. And also, if Lucario has high aura, it's important to remember that because his upbeat goes so far, he can wildly mix up the timing on when Yeah, he true. He also has the wall clink and the wall jump. Uh, username's pretty proficient at using those. Oh, I love that tomahawk grab. Yeah. Recognizing the fear that username has when he's in the corner. Oh, that is another cool one. To do it, yeah. So I was just gonna say briefly about Falco's forward air. It is a move that, like when he, it it kills that really. Low. So it's a move with a very high base knockback but very low knockback growth. So when you're near the blast zone, he goes off stage for forward air like that. It kills absurdly early, but on stage it uh. doesn't kill until like. 200 or something. Right. You know, that's that just the, the nature of the sort of the mechanics behind that move. Uh, yeah, Username's told me he really likes using Aura Sphere to catch neutral getup because it's one of the few tools in the entire game that can really consistently punish a neutral getup. Also, I think he can react to a roll by just hitting the B button. Probably, again. yeah. It's, it's, it's a really, shoots, yeah, it's just a really short here. cancel to uh, cancel Aura Charge. No, no, not cancel, just throw it. That's true, yeah. You can just uh, at higher percents especially, but even at lower percents, you can just get guaranteed damage. You know, you charge the Aura Sphere at the ledge, and then you see, oh, no. I didn't, like, I didn't hit him with it, so I just throw it. Yeah, Steelix just uh, just went ham on him. He got a few down air strings, and then just sealed it out with a back air. That was a great stock for him. Wow, he oh, read the counter. A username hadn't used the counter really the entire match, but but Steelix was still prepared for it. I mean, that's, I think that in really general, strong. it's not necessarily he's reading the counter. He's just reading the panic defensive option. Yeah. He's confident that username isn't going to throw out an attack in disadvantage. And that means that, oh, great DI. Not getting, I think he had all the time in the world to DI that, knowing that he would be, you know, stuck in place. So he doesn't get hit by the laser, which means he can't get hit by the secondary up air. Yeah, this is not looking so great for username, but of course this is Lucario, so Lucario's at his most scary when he's down a stock and up 100%. But there's so many options from Falco, yeah. And that and move can be so hard to figure out how to DI properly. Yeah, he can, because Falco, 
if you DI it and he hits you.